Safety first. That almost hit your toe. So don't spray your toenails. Look at her serious look. My wife and I, along with our four daughters, have a passion for homesteading. We're located in the beautiful Upper Peninsula of Michigan. What we're building here is a 10 by 16, what we'd like to call indestructible, mobile chicken coop that can withstand high winds, heavy snow loads, and can be moved daily by four little girls. You'll see, just wait. Here we've got a mixture of cedar and pine rough cut two by fours from our local sawmill owned by the Amish. We'll be using the cedar on the lower sections of the build because it can withstand moisture much longer than the pine. Now, we're not builders by trade, we're just homesteaders building one awesome chicken coop from a drawing I had drawn up and I actually lost. So it's all from memory and winging it from here on out. Find the center of 10 foot. What's that going to be? All right, I'll mark it. What we'll do is we'll measure in what's half a three foot? Look where your line is. All right, come my way. Now you're probably thinking by now that this isn't looking too indestructible. Well keep watching, you'll see. Back when I was my kid's age, I'd spent a lot of quality time with my grandpa building birdhouses, stools, and benches and such with him in his wood shop. Those were some of my best childhood memories. My mom and dad were very young when they had me, and shortly after they got a divorce, so they never really spent much quality time with me as a kid. But now that I'm an adult and a parent, I can understand how life can just be busy. So I try a bit harder to involve my kids in my busy life, and besides, they're such good helpers, and a joy to be around. Finally.
bump my head walking in. Let's figure out the pitch now. Thanks, Cat. All right, Autumn, I need a 39 inch two by four. This, see how this goes like that? To make a straight line across the board, this has to be in line with this board, up against it all perfectly. Once we finally figured out all our angles for the rafters, it went pretty quick. We simply just traced the first 2x4 we cut out on all the other rafter boards. Seems they're all the same angle anyway. When you unscrew this board, this is actually supposed to be on the inside of here. Didn't really think that one through. Those boards too high. Mm -hmm. Pulling yours out it's going to make this go drop farther down. Pull her, pull her that way. We played around with a few different ideas for this end of the coop, but nothing made much sense, especially when thinking in terms of cleaning out the bedding regularly in the winter months. We thought we'd save weight by doing something this way. In all reality, we're using almost the same amount. We may as well just do the whole thing just like that over there. I'm gonna take that top beam off and put a full section in all the way across. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the peak on the whole thing. Winter time. It seems as if our chickens are more eager to get themselves in this coop than we are.
bottom edge of that board. We decided to wait on attaching the clear roof panels until we pick up some paint. So Autumn and I, we're going to go ahead and build and install the door. Alrighty. We made it a little too tight. We need to add leeway for when this thing flexing a little bit on um, unlevel ground. But we're gonna just pull this board off, cut these about a half inch short, screw it back on, and we can put our sheet metal on. Something like that, a rat a tat tat. But we are don't, here. don't fall backwards. Yeah. They're not watercolors, so don't spray your toenails. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And now that we got a camouflage, we can screw up our clear roofing right here. Doesn't look much better that way. It kind of matches the rest. So yeah, hold this right here. And make sure it's straight. Yeah. All right. What? What? Good stuff, Maynard. Ah. Yeah. We're like thousands of feet in the air. One slip could be the end of a day. Well, I'm not 100% sure if these screws go on these upper ridges like this or down flat on here. I've seen them both ways before, but my thought is they should go on these ridges because when it rains, all the rain's gonna be on the flatter surface. More of a chance for it to leak. So if it's up here, you're not gonna have a whole lake of or river of uh, water flowing down it right here you have less chance of leakage so that's why i put it up there so if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'm no professional it's just how i'm doing it <laughs> ah 
head off. I'm supposed to believe all that nonsense. I know, I am. If you fall, I don't have insurance. I have insurance. Yeah, he's gonna fall on me if he falls forward. Beautiful. You want you the one next to it, And then the other one next to it. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. You go, girl. Mm -hmm. I only get to pick the yard up a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, right is there. Yeah, and I can. Oh man, it's a little harder to stretch out on this one. And I and I, and I go and put my hand in it. He still won't. And he hurried and um locked it, and then um he started laughing, and then I started going up and going. Alrighty. Look at that. This is high quality teamwork. Makes the dream work. Makes yeah. the dream work. <laughs> Come on, I'm there. Don't scratch. Don't scratch the finish. Gotta go down line of this. Alright, now don't move it. Alright, now we're gonna lift it straight up. Cut it all off. Safety first. Cut the tree down up here. We got power tools being used over here. Power tools. All right. 
31 and a half and 74. 74? Two inches. Today it's just me and the two younger girls, Tylin and Haley. The older two girls had to go with their mom to do some shopping. So Haley volunteered to run the camera, and Tylin said she'd give me a hand to speed things up a little. All right, so we all got our safety glasses on, right? Yep. Earplugs, yep. check. Yep. Steel toes, good enough. All right, put the line. Hey, can you hold this end up? I have to short. You got it? All right, you got it. Hold on. I'll do yours first, seeing as you're short cakes. <laughs> I'll get my hammer. I'll go find it. It's in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> so this is the very center. Mm -hmm. so we're going to measure from here to this corner. We're not really going to measure. We're just kind of going to same with this side because we're making that peak. You know what I'm saying? So are you going to cut it? You know what gloves are? Here. See how I'm cutting that? You hold this, you don't stab yourself with this, you hold this, and you go like this. Small cuts stay on the line. The hardest thing I find with building stuff with my kids is patience. Boy, I'm not very good at that. Well, here I am, practicing patience. So, this right here is how Thailand teaches me patience. I know because we got days and days to let you just do it. Oh my gosh, you are so. <sighs> oh. 
Oh. Oh, you're done? What day is it? What day is it? Christmas. The same day we started. Oh. Man, I had a dream that you were cutting this piece of clear stuff for a week. And I was sleeping. <laughs> Trim on it's gonna hold that on there. I don't need that right now. All right, Tyler, so what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna, while he's drilling those nuts into the other side, like doing whatever with the nuts, I'm gonna be holding this right here. You can't see it, your hands in the way. <laughs> You're just gonna hold the bolt so it doesn't spin, so right? It doesn't spin. All right, I'm gonna go the other side. It's gonna take me a second because I gotta cut some pieces of that fence out behind it so I can get the thing turned. So I don't have to hold on to it right now? No, nope, just give Good. it a minute. All right, Haley, you're off the ground there. Pretty easy, isn't it? So easy, a toddler can do it. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. So you can do it? Oh, I can do it, too, of course. I meant you're a toddler. Come on, muscles. You probably don't even need that. You could probably just jack it up and... Or you probably just lift it up and move it. All right, that's good. Well, that's gonna make things pretty easy when we start moving this.
That wasn't that wasn't very graceful, Haley. This is a thousand pound trailer jack system, six inch swivel wheels. Bought them from Northern Tool. We bought four of them and they work awesome. They crank up and down, simple. It swivels. The six inch tires allows it to actually roll pretty good over top of the terrain. And then we're able to jack it all the way down, set it down so the bottom of the chicken coop is on the ground so no critters can get up and underneath it. Pretty cool stuff. girls decided to finish stacking the 20 cord of wood today while I finished getting the other two wheels on the chicken coop. It's time we get this coop mobile. Whew. Man. So we started this project, heck I believe it was springtime. Now we're going into winter already. That's how busy we've been having fun doing other stuff. Now that winter's coming, we really need to get this done. We're going to put this into action come we're going to use this for our chickens in the winter time they'll have kind of an outdoor area where it's clear over there and then i have an indoor area which we're going to insulate and all that stuff come spring we're going to be able to push it so we can move them on pasture every single day move them to a fresh piece that way we can actually keep all their eggs in one place right now we're hunting everywhere we're looking in the woods we're looking in the trees we're looking everywhere just to have our eggs it's beginning to be a pain in the butt. I want to make sure these are in the center of the board when I go to drill the holes. These two by fours right here, there's not much really bracing them up right now. There's no corner braces, nothing like that. But when I screw the sheet metal back up, it's going to be screwed to here, 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 here. It's going to be screwed to all this, and that sheet metal is going to give it its bracing for us. So we really don't have to do a lot of bracing on this side. Now what I'm going to do is pretty fairly, fairly simple. You see me do it on the other side. The reason I put the, this is a one and a half inch piece of solid oak plank that I had laying around here. I have to have it on here because if this is up against here, my six inch wheel doesn't have enough room to swivel. 
I have to jack this thing all the way up till it, till this goes past here in order for it to swivel. I don't really want that because when I'm out there when all the chickens are in it, when they're smaller, I don't want to have to jack this thing up six inches or more just to get this to be able to swivel because then all my chickens will run out. I only want to jack it up just enough to get it enough to roll so the wood isn't on the ground. I want the end to go through just far enough so when we put it up here, because they're not self-tapping screws, when we put it up here, we could tap it with a hammer to get it started through that sheet metal. And it's gonna screw through here and then the two by four behind it. She's level the ground. Make sure she's straight up and down. Carefully mark the center of these four holes. All right. Should be good right there. So this is a metal drill bit that I've been using. It'll go through the oak to the sheet metal through the cedar two by four. I didn't exactly get center on that one two by four, but that's close enough. Should be good. Haley, you holding the nuts yep. or the bolts? Yep. All right. Tap it with a hammer a little. All right, that one you're just tapping on, hold it with a wrench real quick. All right, hold the other bottom one of the wrench. Holding it. Yep. All right, other top one. Okay. All right, do the bottom one again right below that. All right. Okay, the other bottom one. All right. All right, top above that. See if you girls are tough enough. Wow, look how easy that comes up. Looks like you're high enough off the ground, Autumn. You can stop. Let's see how Thailand's doing over here. Look at Haley go. All right, looks like we're off the ground all the way. Let's see. Let's see, are we down off the ground in the middle? Oh man, yeah we are. Awesome. All right, girls, let's see if we can push it. One, two, three, push. Oh my goodness, it's easy. It's easy, it's mobile. Look at the horsepower. It is all the girls pushing. Simple as that. I wonder how easy it is to like turn it this way. I think once the wheels start turning, it gets a lot easier. Pretty simple. Well, what do you girls think? Pretty professional grade stuff, huh? Yep. Yeah, see, I don't think these have to be, so when we jack them up, we don't have to go quite that high. The higher you get up with your jack, the more pressure you're gonna put on your jacks. And the chickens will get out. So you wanna keep it as low as possible. Go down with that a little bit. Now we got all our wheels on, I gotta do some trim work, get a piece there. Right down here, I am going to put sheet metal up also just to the center part right there. Right here is gonna be the little hen house. It's gonna be closed in.
If you made it this far in the video, we really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. We're gonna get the trim all put up. All looking nice. We gotta finish putting sheet metal across there. We're gonna insulate the inside of this, put some nesting boxes inside, section off to inside so they can have a nice warm area. We will see you shortly. Take care, thanks for watching, nine to five to life.